Hello gamers and uh, welcome back to another video on the channel. We are in a Google Street View. I'm not driving this time, but uh, I want to show you and give you my opinion on streets, city streets in particular, and why they should, in my opinion, be boulevards or more of them should be boulevards. Because I've been driving through the city a lot, especially lately. And this is one of the streets I've been driving a lot. And it's like the street where National Assembly of Serbia is. And main post office is. So let's look at this street. We're going to start right in front of these two buildings. And the, or the crossway, or I don't know how to call that, uh, junction where you have two streets meeting very and very important place and the one in particular has these uh, red lines that means uh, you're not permitted to stop here you, you just drive uh, you, you cannot stop there you cannot uh, uh, just you, you have to you know drive faster there or not faster but you cannot you cannot stop there basically so let's begin and see this street. You see there's no U-turn through this section. So this is one. I'm going to go through this way and see why I think all streets should be boulevards. First of all, they're wide street. It's a wide street. Let's go another side. And you can see it has three lanes. One, two, three on each side. And you can see a city bus as well. And it has plenty of room on the walkway as well for trees, for, you know, a lot of walkways and for some parking. You can leave car. This is not a parking, but somebody left the car. And a lot of space in front of uh, stores and some place for even cafes to put uh, chairs and tables. So it's it, it's nice to, it's nice, a lot of place, very useful place right uh, next to the street as well and in the middle you have like flower line or as we're gonna see right as we keep on going uh, you can see situation like this where not uh, like a flower line or flower row but uh, these tracks train tracks in the middle uh, very useful to have like uh, these trams Trams, I don't know how you call them, but uh, these cars uh, that go through the tracks, the train tracks, uh, they're very nice to have and they're electric and it's very convenient, I think, because they don't go through the, you know, uh, traffic, they have their own way and it's very nice riding them, basically. Also very known place here church and also park very nice for you know there, there's a section for dogs so basically a dog park right there and plus there's a um, taxi parking here plus there's a bigger park right next to that so and we have like um, because we have three lanes there's enough place for you know bus stop very nice bus stop and uh, but when bus stops you don't have to slow down or stop traffic so you can just keep, you know, driving there. Sometimes this entire lane is just for, for buses and taxi uh, vehicles. So you can just avoid that. But very often I just ride one of these two, two lanes because I drive a passenger car. So um, boulevards, let's get back to the topic why I think these streets should be all city streets. At least most of them should be boulevards because it's very uh, nice to drive to drive through them also uh very convenient if you want to stop you can just uh, use uh, like the right lane to stop and or even park like you see a lot of parking spaces some of those are zonal like uh with paid uh, parking and it says here you can you know park on the there's a dedicated parking spot and you have zones for parking 
Uh, usually at night it's free parking, but uh, not not always. And a lot of you know walkway and uh, tree line here. Here we have like uh, poles. A lot of a lot of times there's like um, city street light and uh, like cable or tram lines there. So very nice, useful space. Very nice use of space. Let's say like that. And very uh, beautiful to look at and drive through this and, and walk through these streets. Uh, in my opinion, that we, we should not have those narrow streets. It's annoying. I've made a lot of videos recently about those narrow streets and why I don't. And the reason why I made a lot of videos because I wanted to show you what's what's bad about them. I know I cannot influence much because cities are unfortunately built a lot with those narrow streets. But uh, at least to give you some examples so you can have your mind set and have an opinion about. Uh, whether we should have more boulevards or narrow streets and this video is just about showing you boulevard here in Serbia also a nice thing that you can see here in Serbia is these uh, like um, schedules for you know, public transport and also free newspapers <laughs> which is a uh, interesting thing usually in the morning like you have like 15 minutes to get the newspa free newspaper because people who wait you know come here to wait for uh, for bus or public transport just take those so <laughs> that they don't last much but anyway let's keep on going here just so you can see how it looks like this particular one a lot of you know same pattern for many of these boulevards you have like um, cafes and parking spots very nice beautiful trees and also tall buildings I like this this kind of old buildings they're usually like five six stories and you have like a store beneath or a cafe or something like that so sometimes you have like underground garages especially for newer buildings so again another convenience so I like those so let's keep going here you can see and across the road an example of such a building again a restaurant and a small hotel as well <sighs> very nice I love it all right let's keep on going here parking spots very nice looking parking spots and uh, a bigger store here a very popular one like 24 7 uh, shop and go popular stores here and whenever you want to go shopping just easily uh, it's not the easiest to find an open parking spot but um, if you just want to stop you can just uh, you know, cruise a little bit and you'll find at least a place on the you know the right lane just stop there and don't block the you know garage or entry point to anything and don't you know, block anyone who want to back out from their parking spot so you'll find uh, where to stop to go shopping it's not that terrible it's harder on a narrow street especially on a one-way narrow street or dead end narrow street to find uh, parking then it's uh, on the boulevard I mean, I love these boulevards. They should have more of them, really, honestly. Such such experience to drive through those. Sometimes, uh, if I want to go somewhere uh, and I have to choose between two like paths, uh, one that goes through the boulevard and the other one that goes through some other narrow streets, even though Google Street or Google Maps shows me that I should go the other way, I usually choose boulevards just because of the you know how how nice it is to drive through those so I just take those routes and even though they're longer but I like those rounds I see more people walking and all of that so it's more lively but there you go let's not make this video too too long this is how one of the boulevards in Serbia looks like very in my opinion much more beautiful thing to have in the city than those uh, narrow streets like we, we don't have to have those narrow streets hopefully we in the future will have more boulevards and better boulevards and boulevards that have more life into them and more care put into them because it's really nice to when you live in a city to have a nice boulevard 
that's just my opinion leave a like if you like this video and tell me in the comments if you agree with me or if you don't but uh, i would like to hear and read your opinion also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and we'll see you in the next video bye